Okay, next we're going to go over a high pass filter. High pass filter basically uh, allows frequencies above a certain range to pass through or basically remain there. Um, as you remember, we went over the frequencies of where the human voice is, where we typically hear our voices, where EVPs occur down in the lower frequencies. Um, the high pass filter comes in handy in a lot of different scenarios. Uh, if you have EVPs that you think are there and they're, they're overshadowed by other noises, uh, high pitch noises for instance are, um, you can get it from a thunderstorm going on, we can get high pitch noises from airplanes passing over, uh, cars passing by, uh, when we're at cemeteries during the summer, uh, you'll find a lot of cricket noise and the cricket frequencies are very loud and very repetitive. So using this high pass filter you can kind of filter out some of that overshadowing noise to possibly hear those lower frequencies and hear your EVP a little bit better. So we'll jump into a demo on that and we'll go over the high pass. Okay, let's jump into our high pass filter demo. Uh, we're going to go here and open up our EVP file. And again, this is an EB, EB, EVP file that has been broken out of my original audio. So this one is about a you know four second clip, um, not very long. And the first thing we are going to do is um, I like to make the waves easier to work with and increase the uh, space um, on the screen. So I always go in here and I split my stereo tracks. <clears throat> I get rid of my right channel and I go back up here and make it into a mono track. This way I'm sure I'll hear the audio through both speakers. And now we have our audio ready to play. And this was from an investigation at the Merchant and Drover's Tavern. Um, I picked this up, I believe, in one of the uh, rooms on the third floor. Uh, I was by myself, but there were other investigators not too far uh, away, so you will hear maybe one or two other voices in the background. But you're going to uh, hear definitely a, a, a distinct um, EVP in the middle of this audio. And again, uh, the reason I call it distinct is the uh, things we went over in the beginning of the uh, presentation, that it has a very specific cadence, pitch, um, and, and speed, etc. Um, you'll hear a, kind of a sing-song little EVP, so let's play it here. So you'll hear in this audio, and I'll play it one more time after I preface this, that there is a lot of um, noise of shuffling around, and the building was very cold, so everybody had jackets on, so you had a lot of uh, noise of people with nylon winter coats uh, rubbing back and forth. So if you listen clearly, you could hear somewhere in between where I'm running my cursor here that there there is an EVP, and we'll play one more time. Oh, I cut it off a little short. Uh, we'll go further here. Okay, so that's the range we're looking. So there's obviously a, a lot of noise, a lot of uh, high pitch, um, you know, sounds, things, uh, you know, scraping back and forth, as well as a lot of footsteps walking. So we ha we have a lot of different combination of, of noises here that are uh, overshadowing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go switch to our spectrogram view, which we went over briefly in our uh, first video on Amplify. Uh, basically, the spectrogram is showing the frequencies at which the audio occurs. And what you're going to see is I'm going to uh, use my cursor here to kind of highlight uh, the areas a little bit. So just follow my cursor around. But down here, you can see a lot of this white area, a lot of solid white. Um, a lot of this is made up by little square blocks. And you can see the little square blocks are kind of stacked on top of each other, making it a very dense white. Um, some of them have these, you know, long, tall pillars where they spike up from the bottom. Uh, basically, what this is is all, all of this, all this noise down here, is typically human voice. Um, I don't want to get too technical on on the spectrograph and how it all works with the frequencies. Um, you know, again, that could be a whole class within itself. But basically, every time 
uh, you say something. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're outside, inside. Your voice does echo. Uh, your, your voice has a very specific sound to it. Um, and when you see a lot of this white on top of each other, um, it's your sound, sound of your voice echoing inside the building, even though you may not hear it. It's not going to be a Grand Canyon kind of echo, but there still is an echo there. Uh, it echoes coming out of your mouth. It echoes, you know, through your head, um, using your head, head as, a, you know, an amplifier or, um, you know, an echoing device. Um, and it just creates a reverberation that shows up here on these as these little micro echoes. So you're going to see all this dense white is typically sounds that we're making, moving around, walking around, or talking. Now, if you look at um, our area where we played our EVP, um, basically somewhere in this area I'm highlighting. You're going to see a couple of these uh, pyres, stacks, pillars, whatever you want to call them here. They have a very different look. Um, they're kind of faint, they're tall, uh, as, as a normal human voice would be, but they're kind of disconnected from the bottom. They don't, they don't go from the bottom up, where it's not a pitch that's going up, a sound that's going up and reverberating. They kind of uh, look like they're starting in the middle of nowhere. Um, so this typically is what you would see of an EVP. Um, not always the case, not always 100% accurate, but you know, somewhere in this range here behind all this white is, is the uh, these yellowish ones are our EVP. So let me just play it here one more time. So you can hear again this area where it says the, uh, the little background voice. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of a lot of this shuffling and stuff down here. All this noise that's down the bottom here is shuffling, scraping of feet on the wood floor, or uh, nylon coach rubbing together, whatever it may be in that room is just causing a lot of noise that's kind of over the bottom part of the EVP here. So if you look across here, you can get a general idea where where like the majority of this is. Yes, it goes up about this high uh, where my cursor is, but you want to generally be looking in this area where my cursor is, and you follow this across. This is like the thickest part of it, and it goes somewhere. If you look about here, it's about you know halfway between 500 and 1,000 uh, hertz, which you know we're talking about 750. So what we're going to do is we want to use the high pass, and as I mentioned earlier, the high pass filter allows everything higher than a certain frequency to pass through, basically remain and allow to be played. Um, everything below that frequency will get removed. So I'm going to go in and highlight all my audio, and the quick shortcut I did there was Control A, which is available in most Windows programs. Um, on a Mac it would be the Control and A. Um, so we do, uh, or uh, sorry, Command and A, uh, and we do Control A here to select all. And we're going to go up to Effect, and we are going to choose the High Pass Filter. Now you see a couple settings on here. Um, the main one we're concerned with is our cutoff frequency. And again, uh, it's allowing everything above a certain frequency to pass. So it always starts about a thousand. And what we're going to do is we're going to look again down here. We're looking about 750. We want to get rid of everything below here, which is our shuffling noise. So we're going to say 750. Now here, the roll-off per octave, um, what this does is it allows you to uh, choose the amount of decibels, how loud, how much of the sound to get rid of. And again, you're going to have to play with this. It differs on depending on the volume of your audio. Um, you can see a lot of this is dense white, which means it was probably very loud, loud shuffling. The mic was really picking it up. So you can start at 6, try it. If it doesn't take out enough, try 12, try 24. But you're going to find as you get to 24 and up, it's going to start removing so much of your audio that you may not hear what you're looking for. <clears throat> so in this case, I kind of generally know from playing with this file that I want to go about 12. A lot of this noise is very dense, and I want to get rid of uh, all of that. So we're going to start with 750 and 12, and I'll apply it here. And watch how the spectrogram changes. So you'll see there's a lot of blue down here now, similar to up here. That means I got rid of a lot of this audio down here. Uh, a lot of those loud noises and everything are gone. So now we're going to play the entire EVP again from the beginning.
Now again, very difficult to get rid of every single noise because they're kind of integrated with the different sounds. But you can hear now the feet dragging, the banging, those kind of noises are gone. And we kind of have left over here the area where our EVP is without so much noise at the bottom. So let me isolate that and we'll play just that. So I don't know if everybody was able to hear <coughs> uh, EVP there or what the EVP might have said. Um, but from going through this one a few times, I believe it's saying something along the lines of you should not be here. It sounds like a little girl in a you know, little sing-song voice saying you should not be here. So let's try this again. I'll play it again. And the high pass filter did allow me to hear it a little bit get, uh, better, a little bit clearer. So again, what you can do is save this out <coughs> using the either uh, export selection or export. Export selection, of course, you have to highlight an area to export. If we do this, the standard export allows me to export this whole little short clip that I have. Um, so you always want to make sure you keep your original. This will be in my modified. So in this case, just as I have it titled here, I like to prepend what I did to it. So I put a high pass filter and I have my title of Merchant and Drovers, you should not be here and I can save this out as an mp3 and this way I can go back and present this to um, everybody and say here was my original and here was the filtered version just to allow you to hear it better <clears throat> and they can make their own decisions on whether they think there's really an EVP in there or not. So that is our high pass filter.